were the, the French people who were making wine <laughs> at some point uh, started to wonder why they had so often uh, uh, not wine but vinegar in their uh, in their uh, wooden uh, bioreactors, uh, yeah, wine <laughs> canisters. And uh, then they asked Louis Pasteur, uh, well, he's a famous uh, biotechnologist, to research that, you know, to to find out why sometimes, uh, yeah, there was vinegar in a bottle, why there was sometimes uh, wine in a bottle. And uh, of course, there he discovered that uh, uh, yeast uh, makes alcohol, and if you work with just yeast, yeah, you get great wine. But if you also have acetic acid bacteria in your uh, uh, reaction mixture, those yeah, bacteria create vinegar, and that's not what you want. And uh, yeah, he's also famous for pasteurization. Uh, uh, he proved that there was no such thing as spontaneous generation, or you know, uh, up till that time, people believed that uh, microbes could just emerge by themselves, or diseases could, yeah, because of bad spirits or curses or something else, could just emerge. And uh, yeah, using a very simple test, which was based on uh, sterilization of a, of a liquid in a bottle uh, with either a uh, yeah, S-shaped uh, top or an open top, and you could prove that uh, in the open top there would always be microbes growing, and uh, in the S-shaped uh, top there would be no microbes. So he showed that there's no such thing as spontaneous generation. And if you're in Paris anytime, then I would recommend going to the uh, Pasteur Institute, because there's a nice museum there, and you can see how he lived. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, but of course it's all kind of interesting, all these old-fashioned biotech uh, examples, but nowadays um, bioreactors are often used to produce more valuable compounds, and uh, often people use this uh, bioreactor value pyramid to define what, what kind of, um, yeah, Compounds you can get out, out of a bioreactor. Uh, at the bottom of the uh, uh, pyramids, of course, heat and yeah, just si simple um, uh, yeah energy that you produce when you, when when microbes are e eating uh, sugars. Um, you can get it at a very high volume, but it has a very low low value. Um, if you are a little bit better at uh, making uh, bioreactors run, you can make fuels. Um, uh, those are a little bit more expensive, more have more value than uh, the next step in the pyramids are fibers like materials like cellulose. Those are uh, yeah worth more, and then food, and finally pharma. Pharma is uh, yeah the most 